FPC Security is proud to introduce our battery backups and wireless receiver maglock kits. This installation video is for the following kits. When the power goes off, this battery backup kit will give power to the kit between 5 to 10 hours depending on the traffic that is received at the door. It is important to note that this option does not work with our Wi-Fi socket. For proper installation, please make sure that you have the following diagrams and installation manuals for each individual product on hand. Warning, please read carefully. It is recommended to use electrical wire for this installation. 18 slash 2 or 20 slash 2 gauge wire would be sufficient. This wire is a requirement that is needed to connect the mag lock, receiver and exit button. You may also use this wire as an extension for the power supplies. Before purchasing or installing this kit, you will need to check and comply with your local fire authority to make sure you comply with fire code compliance. Each state has different laws. We are not responsible for improper installation of this kit. This video is an example of how it should be installed, but all applications are different. If you are not handy with electrical components, please consult with a certified electrician or locksmith. Make sure that when you are installing this kit, to have all electrical components turned off. We are not responsible for any type of short circuits. In order to get started with this installation, you need to make sure you have the following tools on hand. This kit brings a battery backup that includes four DC cables. For this kit, we will be using only the two cables that have the connectors cut off. The other two DC cables with connectors on the end can be used for other devices. Keep in mind that this battery backup can withstand 1000 milliamps. This entire kit will use a total of 519 milliamps, so you will be able to use the remaining 481 milliamps for other devices. First step will be to plug in your power supplies and the two cables without connectors. Get the power supply that is included in the kit and plug into the plug-in input. Then grab the two DC cables without the connectors and plug them in the first two inputs from left to right on the 12 volt section of the battery backup. Second step is going to be connecting the battery backup wires to the MAC lock. Take the positive side of the first DC cable and connect into the positive terminal of the MAC lock. Third step will be connecting the mag lock to the exit button. For this step, we must get the exit button and have electrical wire on hand. For this entire installation, we will only be using the common, which is the green wire, and the normally closed, which is the orange wire, from the exit button. We will now get a piece of electrical wire and connect one end to the common green wire from the exit button, and the other end of the electrical wire will be connected to the negative terminal of the mag lock. Fourth step will be connecting the exit button to the receiver. For this step, we will also need another piece of electrical wire. Get the one end of the electrical wire and connect it to the normally closed orange wire from the exit button. The other end of the electrical wire will be connected to the normally closed terminal on the receiver, which is the little black box.
Fifth step will be connecting the receiver to the first power supply that was used to connect to the maglock in step one. The negative portion of the first DC cable from the battery backup will go into the common of the receiver. Sixth step will be to give power to the exit button so you will have it illuminated. For this step you must get two pieces of electrical wire. One piece of electrical wire will go to the red wire from the exit button and the other end will go to the positive terminal of the receiver. The other electrical wire will be connected to the black wire from the exit button and the other end will go to the negative terminal of the receiver. Seventh step will be to connect the second DC cable directly into the receiver. Connect the positive side of the second DC cable to the positive terminal of the receiver. Then we will now connect the negative side of the second DC cable to the negative terminal of the receiver. Eighth step is a summary of all the connections. Ninth step is to plug in the power supplies to your outlets and power up the system. You will now see that the maglock is closed and when we press the exit button the maglock releases. Keep in mind that the exit button does not have a delay. You must press the exit button at the same time that you release the lock. Here you will see the unit work with normal electricity and now we will turn off the normal electricity and, you, and we will turn on the battery backup. Now you see that the battery backup is working with no power. Tenth step will be to program the wireless remotes. This remote has a range of approximately 320 feet. Please make sure that you have one of the buttons in your hand while we do this step. We will now go to the receiver and press the programming switch which is located on the side of the receiver. Make sure you take off the black cover for this step. We are going to press on that button for about 3 seconds until the LED light starts flashing. Then you will press the button on the remote once and wait till the light on the receiver stops flashing. You will now see that the remote is working. Eleventh step will be to explain on the different functions that the receiver has and how to program them. It's important to note that the receiver's default function works the following way. 
When you press the remote once, the maglock will release and stay released for 4 seconds, and then it will automatically lock. The second function that would need to be programmed works very similar to a light switch on and off function. In order to program this, please get a small flat end screwdriver and press the function switch. Hold that button for about 3 seconds and then press it one more time until it flashes twice. Once this has been done, you have programmed the, the second function. Step 13. In this step, we will show you a diagram of how to install the LNZ brackets on an in-swinging door. You will see various examples on how to do it.